Murphy City Hall pawned this round. Well, uh, decided to uh, go with the 4th of July morning and fish Murphy City Hall. It's playing around with some sunfish and bluegill. We're going for some bass initially, but uh, didn't have them cooperate with us. That said, uh, we were able to hook up with these guys. So it was bluegill and sunfish initially. Lots of fun catching them on uh, basically a four weight, uh, along with a little uh, size 14 gold rib hairs here, nymph, and a caddis hook. And uh, we're doing really good with that. We did notice uh, a lot of um, activity on the shoreline. Uh, looked like something big was hitting, chasing things, and uh, we suspect it was bass. And actually got a glimpse of a couple that uh, were bass. And uh, we just uh, kept plugging away with these guys, and that was good. And then uh, ended up um, catching a fair amount of these guys. And then started seeing the bass start chasing the uh, little sunfish or bluegill as we were bringing them in. And in this case, we got a double. This was one on a, a near deer and a gold rib hairs ear nymph trailer. And you didn't see it, but there was a bass chasing uh, one of them as we were bringing them in. And in this case, we got another one. Also, another uh, sunfish going for that gold rib hairs ear nymph. We kept at it. Things were going uh, really well for us. And there's a Another fish. Pretty much just uh, took a nice leisurely day catching fish. And we did uh, keep getting these bass and whatnot, chasing these uh, little fish, but didn't have any uh, big hooks. But here's one that actually took it and put a really good bend in the rod. We fought it, oh, about a couple of minutes or so before it finally let go of the little sunfish that we were using, or that uh, had hit our little nymph. And here's a, another uh, another strike. This one's going to be another sunfish. This one went for the near deer. And here, we've got one just pulling on the line and uh, taking out some line. It ended up... Uh, Putting up a really good fight, but we ended up breaking off. We suspect again it was the bass. We noticed is as the uh, bass were coming up, so the uh, bass would come up and uh, seem to let go of the uh, fish, and when they caught sight of us, so um, end up not uh, hooking up well with them. But kept at it. And here's uh, another case where uh, another bass took the uh, sunfish and let go. So keep on going, and here's one where. He uh, took the uh, fly and uh, put up a really good flight, uh, fight, taking out line, and uh, weren't sure what it was this case, as we uh, hadn't caught a sunfish, we just went right for the fly. And uh, we fought this one for a good while, and you can see it um, taking out line, having to palm the uh, reel, or the rim of the reel. We started walking along with it, uh, see if we can get it up closer, and uh, we finally got him to shore. And this one turned out to be a nice-looking catfish. What was cool about it was um, it uh, went for the little nymph, but uh, even better was uh, it was hooked or had a broken off hook on it. We were able to uh, use that hook uh, to tie on a sunfish and end up uh, hooking into this guy using uh, a little sunfish that we had caught and this one put up a really good fight and we got a good idea as to what the uh, bass were or at least the size of the bass that were going for these sunfish so not a bad looking one this one went about 17 inches in uh, length so good stuff so next time we'll catch you all later and good luck and good fishing